This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey everybody, my name is Mike Hermes and welcome to my channel. Well guys, today we're going to address a topic uh, that I received a question about, actually from multiple people. Uh, how to bake light that has been created by an HDRI image, okay? So if you are using uh, image-based lighting and you have an HDRI dome around your scene, can you bake that light onto your object and onto your texture? Yes, you can. So that's what I'm going to show you. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're in Maya 2016, and we're going to start off by creating a basic scene so we can apply some um, uh, image-based lighting on our object, and then we can bake that, okay? Now, I received this question from a few people, and, uh, you know, I'm glad that I'm uh, now able to address that. So here we go. So we're going to take a simple polygon plane as a floor, and we'll just uh, pull that out, and then we'll take a polygon cube. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that cube up. Let's increase it in size a bit. And we'll hit 4 on our keyboard for wireframe mode so we can see where it's at. We're going to hit W and we're going to move that down. Okay, so it is now sitting on our ground plane. Okay, now the thing is that we are going to bake the light that's going to be um, aimed at the cube here and the floor is going to play a role in that because we're going to apply an HDRI image that's going to project light onto our cube and our floor. So in order to see that, we are going to uh, apply a reflective material, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click, assign new material. I'm going to go with an MIA Material X, which is a mental ray material. And if you don't have that option, then go up to Windows, Settings Preferences, go to your Plugin Manager, and make sure that you have, um, where do you go? Maya to Mental Ray dot MLL loaded. Okay, cool. So I applied that material in my Attribute Editor. I can now go to my Material tab, go to Presets, and we'll select Chrome and hit Replace. Okay, and while we're at it, we'll take our floor here and right click and assign existing material. We'll take the same material. Okay, so that's our scene. We have no lighting in our scene at all, as you can see, besides the default. So we're going to uh, go into our render settings. Let's open that up. We're going to make sure that we select Mental Ray. And then we can tweak a few settings here um, in the common tab. And this is not really necessary, but we'll just uh, increase the size of our image for uh, rendering purposes. Uh, don't worry about that too much. I'll just uh, bump up the quality here. Again, not essential. We'll go to the scene. And in the scene, I want to create an image-based lighting environment, OK? So when I hit Create here, I will have the ability in my Attribute Editor to plug in an HDRI image, OK? So I'm going to hit that folder. I'm going to go into my HDRI folder, and I'm going to select Sky, uh, where is it? Sky 1, OK? So nothing showing up here yet, but if I zoom out, you can see that there's now a dome surrounding my object with an HDRI image of a sky, OK? So let's just do a quick render as is without baking anything and see what happens. So we're going to go up to uh, render. And let's give that a sec. And there's a bunch of reflection going on. <clears throat> you can see the uh, sky going on in our cube. And you can see the sky reflected on our floor as well. Okay. Now, the reason why I did it this way is I not only want the sky reflected on the top of the cube, but also the sides here. So with this setting, we are now going to go in and we are going to bake the light onto our cube and onto our cube only. OK, so we're going to select our cube and we're going to go up in our rendering menu to lighting and shading. And then we're going to go to batch bake. Got something going on there here. Well, we'll figure that out. It's fine. So my cube, uh, batch, bake, mental ray. I'm going to hit the option box. I got my cube selected. Uh, what do I want to bake? Only these selected items. So that's my cube. 
okay I want to bake it to texture nothing abnormal there and the rest I'm gonna leave as is okay now I'm gonna hit convert we'll give it a sec and as you can see I now have the entire sky sky texture on my cube here okay I'm gonna close that out now I want to prove to you that it has actually been baked onto our cube so I'm gonna take my floor and let's delete that and if we go out and we take our dome here our HRI image and we select that and hit delete we should have no reflection anymore correct okay so when I hit that and I go back you can see that it is now baked into our object keep in mind though that if you look at the bottom here it's gray the reason why it's gray is that that did not you know cast any light uh, based on our render so we were looking at the object from this point of view so we got the light baked based on the renderings perspective okay so keep that in mind but as you can see this is how you can bake hdri light onto your object okay so if you guys like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel that would be really awesome and that said thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye